It's coming up, 2023, the year gold spot price rockets to $3,000 an ounce as we leave behind the mistaken market consensus on inflation of 2022. It's a live and learn situation. This is a teachable moment. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. No one anticipated 2022's gold spot price ending this year flat. Just a couple weeks away from 2023, this is where we're at. But 2023, 2023 is the year gold skyrockets to a conservative $3,000 spot price. At least this is what Ole Hansen, head of commodity strategy at Saxo Bank believes. There are two factors, incredibly strong factors, that held down gold price in 2022, but they're both starting to reverse. Let's talk about these now. At the end, I have an update from Gold Mining Inc. The first is the DXY. This is the US dollar index, which measures the dollar's strength. Normally when this index is high, gold spot price suffers and we're seeing a reversal here. The second factor is big investors have been locked into a five-year treasury bond with over 4% interest. This is a safe investment option which directly competes with gold. This is also starting to reverse. People will be driven to gold. Right now, the goal of the Federal Reserve is to get inflation back down to its 2% target. And right now, the US dollar is so strong, to a large extent due to quantitative tightening which started in June of 2022. In 2023, and this is really important, when the Fed stops tightening, it's going to both tank the dollar and increase gold spot price. A constant throughout 2022 is we've been in an excellent gold buying market. I picked up this pre-33 Liberty Half Eagle just last weekend at a coin show, and I got a really good deal on it from a dealer friend of mine. Ah, I love the look of these, and I'm looking for more to add to my stack. The Fed is going to stop quantitative tightening, QT, in 2023 for one simple reason. 2023 is when the market finally discovers something stackers have been saying all along. Inflation is here to stay. The article also mentions several factors detrimental to dollar strength. They basically boil down to the Chinese economy opening back up and a surge in gold demand over there. But another thing to consider that I wanted to bring up is just think about where the world is heading right now. We still have the Russia-Ukraine war, but the big picture is deglobalization. Countries want less foreign currency and as a hard currency, gold is very attractive. And an extremely attractive, I'm talking about a breaking news update is coming from Gold Mining Inc. I'll fill you in in a minute. Here's a tip for all of you. Be sure to leave me a comment on this video and double check, make sure you're subscribed and click the like button. Anyway, my last point driving gold to $3,000 per ounce is portfolio hedges against inflation. And guys, look, if I can speak frankly here, 2022, with virtually the same gold price on January 1st and today, as of the recording of this video, doesn't amount to much of an inflation hedge. But even with 40 year high inflation, the market ate up rhetoric from the Fed with the explanation that inflation was transitory. In prior videos, I offered up my opinion that the sequel to transitory inflation was an economic soft landing. Both of these ideas have turned out to be complete fantasies. 2022 has suppressed gold spot price 
but an unreasonably low gold price isn't going to hold steady through 2023. I agree with Ole Hansen's take on the gold market regarding where we've been, but his prediction on where we're going holds water as well. The analysis is valid, and I believe that a $3,000 gold spot price is actually reasonable. This isn't a pie-in-the-sky prediction, and at current valuation, physical gold is an absolute bargain. Gold is a true bargain right now, but if you're looking at gold from a value standpoint and you're seeking to leverage gold value, I want you to listen to this. Gold Mining Inc. ticker GLDG on the New York Stock Exchange is today's video sponsor, and thank you for that. I have some huge news about this company, and I'll share that with you in a minute, but what really drives this stock home is the valuation. Pen to paper, the fundamentals are rock solid. As of the recording of this video, the market cap is $240 million. Gold Mining Inc. also owns 20 million shares of a great royalty company called Gold Royalty Corp, ticker GROY. If you subtract the GROY position, which is a $50 million holding from the market cap, that leaves $190 million. Gold Mining Inc. purchased incredible projects. I'll tell you more about that, but out of their 14 total projects, they have 32 million ounces of gold equivalent resources. The last piece of this is when we divide $190 million by 32 million ounces of gold, that's gold for just under $6 per ounce. Becoming a GLDG shareholder is the only way to access gold for $6 an ounce for the company's reserves. Industry standard for similar projects is $30 per ounce. So it's gold for 20 cents on the dollar. This is the only way to get gold for 80% off. If CEO Alistair Still and founder Amir Adnani decided to sell the company today, we'd all make four times our money because this is a billion dollar company. Gold Mining Inc. just received a $5.25 analyst price target. I'm in for the long haul on this stock and now for the huge news on this company. Gold Mining Inc. has a project in Alaska that I've identified in a previous video. I had a feeling about success here. The project is called Whistler, and here's the story. It's right next to a Nova Minerals project called Estelle, which is half the size, half the grade as Whistler, and the Estelle project is worth $100 million. Comparatively, this means the Whistler project alone is worth an astounding $200 million. This project is so big that what's going to happen is the Whistler project is going to be spun off into a new company that's going to be called U.S. Gold Mining. This new company is going to go public likely very soon. I think it will happen within the next few months. And when that happens, Gold Mining Inc. will be the major shareholder. So look for that IPO soon. A move like this creates a lot of value, so it's a very bullish sign for GLDG. A couple other things I can say about GLDG are 1. Look at the proof of concept, and 2. Consider the major players in the company. You may remember me referencing leveraging gold exposure with quality mining companies. Gold Mining Inc. has been around for over 10 years, and in previous gold rallies, this company has greatly outperformed gold spot price. December 2013 to March 2014, Gold Mining Inc. beat spot price by a factor of 10. January 2016 to September 2016, GLDG beat spot price by a factor of 30. December 2018 all the way through February of 2020, they beat spot price by a factor of 5, and then March of 2020 to August 2020, GLDG outperformed spot price by a factor of 7. That's real leverage. 
And if you believe gold spot price will rise in 2023, specifically going to the Saxo Bank prediction of $3,000 an ounce, that's a 66% increase in spot price from where we are now around 1800. But Gold Mining Inc has leveraged gold rallies by a factor of 5 to 30 times that. Gold Mining Inc founder Amir Adnani bought these properties when they were completely financially distressed. So he got a great deal on them. His timing was perfect. Subsequently, big investors like Doug Casey, Rick Rule, and Sprott decided to stake a claim in this company. All-star investors tell you a lot about a company, and that's sort of a baseline for me. I think that it also adds a lot of peace of mind to kind of back up what I'm seeing in this business. Of course, the company has no debt. I highly recommend checking out GLDG again on the New York Stock Exchange. Do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stack wide as the ocean.